Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Harry has the chance to iron out his differences and grievances with Prince William and King Charles if reported peace talks between the prominent royals do take place. However, for the meeting to be a success, the Duke of Sussex needs to be willing to compromise rather than issue demands to his close relatives and firm members, a royal historian believes. U.S.-based Marlene Connick thinks it is of the utmost importance that if Harry, William, and Charles do come together for talks ahead of the king's coronation, little is shared with the media and the public until the meeting is finished. The royal historian told Express.co.uk, I am in agreement that yes, both sides need to talk in a neutral place. I think Harry, and I have been among the Sussex's stalwart defenders, has gone a bit over the top recently. There definitely needs to be a conversation on different levels, because it is apparent and obvious that Harry is hurting, Harry is bitter, and there is some real entitlement too. The royal commentator cited, as an example, the Duke of Sussex's recounting in spare how William was always granted more than him as the heir to the throne, including a bigger half of the bedroom in their nursery at Balmoral Castle. Miss Connick continued, Harry and Charles are still father and son. They would have an opportunity to iron out and work on their differences with a similar meeting. The meeting should take place out of the limelight. We shouldn't even know it is taking place until it's over and the palace issues a statement about it. In the end, they need to figure this out on their own. It's something between a father, a son, a brother. The feud between the Sussexes and the rest of the royals, Miss Connig added, it's merely a family issue, it doesn't affect the constitution, given Prince Harry's minor role in the firm and his position in the line of succession. Miss Connig believes other royals who may have felt slighted by Prince Harry, with his recent comments should take part in the talks too, as well as experienced aides trusted by all sides. However, important players in the royal feud, such as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Kate, Princess of Wales, should be included in the talks only after father, son, and brother have had the chance to speak with each other, Miss Connick believes. Compromise and understanding on all sides would be pivotal in a similar meeting for it to be a success, the royal historian added. She said, I certainly would want King Charles, Prince William, and other members of the royal family to sit down with Harry, not for the Duke to interrogate them. He needs to listen to them as well, and I think that's what's missing. His narrative is angry. The important thing is that there has to be compromise on both sides. Among the issues that could be discussed during a possible meeting between the royals, Miss Connick believes could be how Meghan was treated while she was in the UK as well as why the Duke of Sussex waited until his interview with ITV's Tom Bradby to state neither he nor his wife had ever said the royal family is racist during their sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. Miss Connick said, The most important thing that needs to be addressed is how Meghan was treated. But on the other hand, this is something I have said from the get-go. I fault Harry for not making sure Meghan knew what she was doing. Had she known the ropes and how things are done as a royal and not as a celebrity, she and Harry would have been superstars, and there would not have been a problem with that. They would have been sent around to do various visits. He didn't prepare her. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about royal family. Thank you.